want to update you on. So good news, bad news, our dressage lessons, it's not fair shows. There's so many different options right now. We're changing all of this. Before we get into the video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell to select all so you don't miss any of our videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends and family about us too. It's the only way we can grow and that YouTube knows you're enjoying our videos. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well for extra content and behind the scenes footage. Let's get into the video. Come here, buddy. Can I kind of know? Okay. 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 had a couple of mild days and now all of our snow is almost gone. We've got lots of mud, <laughs> got lots of mud around. <laughs> These two, they are absolute best friends and they're so good for each other. They're the right size, they're the same age, so they just love playing. And it actually helps because it lets Bear get out any of his play and energy out with Milo so that he doesn't want to be tempted by playing with any of the birds or the animals. Milo's been so good for him and Bear's been amazing for Milo because our other dogs are, they're senior dogs and so they don't want to run around and play with Milo. They like to sleep with him and they like to cuddle with him but they're really not into the excess of energy that Milo is. He is not a dog that could live <laughs> in the city. He needs to run and he can do it for hours on end. They absolutely love each other. But Bear does get tired and then he waits for Milo <laughs> to run around him. So Julia is still at school, but she did want me to let everybody know, because <laughs> I didn't record it the other day, her ducks have started laying eggs and she is <laughs> over the moon about it. So they literally just started, so I've just got to keep 
checking. Mm, no eggs today. Nothing yet. <laughs> so <laughs> they're laying, I don't know, like every other day or every third day, something like that. Like I think we've gotten two or three, I think there's been three eggs that they've laid so far. Well, that Bubbles has laid so far because Puddles is a boy. So she's very excited to have ducklings this summer. <laughs> But she knows that if she has ducklings, she does need to sell them because we don't want to get overcrowded with ducks. So that's going to be her project. A medical helicopter. So it's going from one hospital to the other. Ever since I've been in an ambulance with Julia when she was younger, I think of ambulances and emergencies so much differently. It's so terrifying. Hopefully they're not transporting anyone or going for anyone and they're just changing locations. These two, they're so sweet, but they're so shy and nervous. They love Julia. They're so friendly though. Some of the ladies are starting to get ready to go in. I have to show you, I love this little guy. He is so sweet and so adorable. You can literally pick him up with one hand. He's just the sweetest little guy. He is here to breed our silkies. So one of our income sources on this farm is the chickens and selling eggs and day old chicks and then laying hens. Come here, sweetie. Look at this guy. He? But he is just a sweetheart. We've got our two silky hens over here. No, three. And then of course we got Maggie, a little disabled chicken. So she has one foot. You need my microphone. It's not food, silly. Well, because I walked in front of the gator while he was coming down here, and so he was like, what do you got in your ears? Implying oh, that I was wearing my AirPods. No, I just am don't not listen. smart. Don't <laughs> listen. I'm just not smart. You're smart, you just don't listen. Two very different things. <laughs> so. <laughs> Are you prolonging how long you're interrupting my video? Scott, come on, <laughs> seriously trying to bug me by ruining my video. So, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Now that the snow is melting and it's starting to get mild, as soon as the ground is ready to dig, we are going to... Milo, Milo. Oh, buddy, you're muddy. Milo, come here. Milo, ready? Oh, where have you been? Milo, ready? Ready? As soon as the weather permits and ground saws enough, we are going to start on our goat barn extension. So probably can't hear any of this because everyone's so loud right now. Chickens are going and gators and dogs and Kate and Scott talking. I just need to film a video. There are things that Milo wants to play with his red plastic container. This is why I can't get any videos done. All right, so back to what I was saying. We are going to be, Kate, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, now that the weather is nice, we are going to very shortly get started on our next spring project, which is to extend the goat area, part of the barn, so that we have a bit more room for them. We can have some kidding stalls and just a bit more space to divide them up if we need to. And then we're gonna turn this, mud pit area into an area for kids and bucklings once they need to be separated from the rest. You are so full of mud. Buddy. Milo. Milo, come here. Bear's over here. Come on, out of the mud. <laughs> Go to the grass area in the backyard. Milo. So what we're gonna do is 
next end, we're gonna come out here. We're changing all of this back here. This has been such a disaster for us on the farm. I know a lot of times people are always commenting that it looks so nice and organized and neat, but I feel it's <laughs> like the complete opposite. I do have OCD, so <laughs> it could be that, but um, it just, it, it doesn't function well. We have a lot of mud that tracks down here in the winter and in the spring because it slopes down towards the manure pile. And then this whole area, which is a decent sized area, gets wasted because we need to have access to bring the hay wagon and get to the manure pile do the tractor and everything back here. So what we ended up deciding to do, we're going to remove this paddock here. So this is the paddock that's behind our riding arena. And we're gonna do a road that goes, not a road, but like a, uh, a pathway for the um, gator and for the tractor. Our plan is to, oh, I'm in so much mud is to take out this part of the fence here. This is going to be access to the manure pile, which we are now gonna relocate in the back area, which is where we already have our compost piles. Then we're going to fence off this paddock a little bit differently and incorporate it all into here. Get this all grassed up and then that manure pile will no longer be there all of the storage of rocks and patio stones and extra gates and stuff will be moved. And then we eventually want to be able to go out into the forest a bit because the goats love to eat brush and we need brush eaten. <laughs> so it's gonna be a nice area for shade. It's really pretty in there. So much poison ivy though, it's not usable and it really could be a usable space. So it's gonna be a really great area for the goats. Playground area set up here for them. We're gonna be able to have access so that they're going from the barn to the paddocks. And hopefully we can get started on this sooner rather than later because we have goat babies that are due to arrive shortly. So our first two goats, we've got Grace and Poppy. They are due, um, March 16th, I think it is. I have to go check my papers. But then our next set are Tulip and Daisy and they're due, I think about a week apart. And they're gonna be due in April. And then we've got a bit of a break until June, I believe. So we have all of this that we wanna get set up. Obviously this is gonna have to happen in stages. Like we're realistic about it, but we'd really like to get this moving as soon as the weather is good. So that is the plan right now for that. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but we love it and it will make this a lot more functional for us, for us and for our animals. So I'm really excited about that. We will bring you along on that whole build and what else did I want to update you on? Our dressage lessons. So good news, bad news about dressage lessons. Good news for us, but bad news for our coach. Her horse that she declared on for the Paralympics ended up with an injury and so she's not able to take him. And so she has been looking for a new horse that she would be able to take to the Paralympics. She had flown over to Germany. She's gone and seen several horses overseas and she has been looking in the States and everywhere really. But unfortunately it didn't pan out and so that is not gonna work out for her, which is so disappointing because it would have been so exciting to be able to cheer her on. But we are so, so incredibly proud of her that she even got to the point that she got to. And we are so excited to be back at dressage lessons. I know some people have been asking about Duke. He has been off for a bit in the winter because our coach has been down in Florida and looking for a horse the last couple of months. So he has been prone to accidents. He's just been getting cuts in weird places and 
doing gelding things in the winter. He's not been lame, but he's just been a little bit sore on and off, and so we were just giving him a break. He doesn't enjoy jumping. Stevie loves it, so Kate is working with Stevie for jumping. Kate is still absolutely riding Duke. She's going to be doing dressage, so I don't think she's going to take him this weekend when we return to dressage lessons, just because he's been out of work so I think she'll she'll start bringing him back into work as the weather's nicer everything is melted from the arena as of today and so hopefully in the next couple of weeks she can start working with him here back to the point where he can go and do lessons because the private lessons she does are a full hour and they work her and the horse <laughs> they are a lot of work for them which we love it's great but it also means it's not fair to take Duke out of the field and put him straight into a lesson. So she's going to definitely start working with him, get him warmed up so that he can get right back to dressage. So you will definitely see him in dressage with Kate. And once the weather is nice, you'll see them out here in our arena. And until then, we will see her with Stevie. She is going to continue, even once Duke is back in dressage, she's going to continue with... Um, the jumping lessons at our other barn with Stevie still. And I don't know, show season, we're not sure what's going on yet. We're definitely doing shows, we know that, but there's so many different options right now. So we don't know if Stevie and Kate are going to be ready to go do some rated shows maybe. We don't know if Duke is going to be ready to start with some dressage shows. So we will see, but definitely doing shows. Probably be doing some schooling shows as well. I don't know, it's all up in the air. We're just kind of waiting to see how it goes. So definitely stick around for dressage jumping shows if you're interested in all of that we are definitely gonna have stuff with the goats the baby goats so many things happening on this farm this season okay so i didn't update you about gideon yet and my battery died so now i'm recording on my phone so hopefully this is all right this morning we noticed gideon has not been acting just himself he's just off since yesterday last night he started walking really stiff back legs and then we noticed him limping on his front right and we were checking him touching his legs picking each one up and he didn't have a problem putting weight on any of his legs including the front one he didn't show any signs of discomfort when we were touching him so we don't know if he's gotten some kind of a bruise from knocking into something but last night he started walking really hunched in his back and his back legs stiff which can be a sign of a number of things but pain being one of them um, a blockage of his urinary tract there's a bunch of things that it could be and so we put a call into the vet he has been eating he's drinking going to the bathroom normally so no issues with any of that so we know it's not a blockage we've taken his temperature he doesn't have a fever she's given us a course of action to do and we're going to see if it makes any difference for him. He's got some pain meds just to help in case there's any pain if he's got a bruise and we're gonna monitor for now. So anyway, now I'm in to go make dinner and hopefully get a video up for you guys tonight. So we will check you on the next one. <laughs>